Hey there guys, now I'm sorry I haven't been posting a lot of tutorial videos, I've been kind of just chilling out and enjoying my summer. However, now I'm back and I'm going to be making these tutorial videos once a week. So from now on, on every Monday, there's going to be a tutorial on whatever you guys want to see. But anyways, today we're going to be looking at an effect from a movie called Donnie Darko, and the effect looks like this. Pretty sick, right? So now let's go upstairs to Final Cut, and let's see how we do this effect. So here we are in Final Cut Express, and I here I've got my raw footage. So I'm just gonna play this for you guys and show you, um, show you what it looks like. As you can see, it isn't anything too fancy, just me stabbing the air with my knife. So the first thing I want to do is first find um, the impact zone where I first stab the air with my knife. So more or less right there. So yeah, more like right there. Let's go back two frames. So one, two. Hit B to bring up the blade tool, and let's cut that part out. Now let's continue on to see where the uh, next impact zone is. So about right there. Now let's um, count back one more time. One, two, two frames. And then hit B to bring up the blade tool and let's cut that part out. Now on this very first clip where I first dubbed the earth my knife, let's select that. Come up here to effects, video filters, distort, and then pawn ripple. And this is what um, is going to create the actual ripple effect. So let's come over here to the filters tab. Let's um, first um, put the playhead at the very beginning of that clip. Let's keyframe all of these and let's bring them down to a zero. So zero, 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 and zero. Now we're not going to do um, anything with the uh, decay filter, so we don't actually have to mess um, miss anything with that. And also, if you notice the ripple, it, autom it uh, automatically just kind of jump, um, jumps back up to a one. So don't be worried if that um, does that on your computer. So now let's go um, forward two frames again, so one, two, to where the actual impact zone is. Let's keyframe all of these again. Let's bring up the radius to a 12, the ripple to a 2, the amplitude to a 3, acceleration to a 1, and highlight up to a 30. So now um, this is um, pretty much what's going to actually create the effect itself. And let's continue on um, to where we want the uh, ripple effect to end. So let's say about right there. Let's uh, keyframe all of these one more time. Let's bring the uh, radius up to a 26. And instead of bringing that um, down to a 0, what bringing it up to a 26 will do, it will kind of give the illusion that it more sort of disappears and fades away over time. So let's bring the ripple. Um, let's leave that um, actually at a 2. Let's bring the amplitude to a 0, acceleration to a 0, and also let's bring the highlight to a 0. So now, um, all that's left is we have to actually align it up with the knife. So let's go back to that second keyframe, select the clip, um, make sure it's still selected. And here where it says center, let's grab that little button and we'll bring that over and just place that right on top of the knife. So now, if we click this button, we can see there's like a little um, red X right on top of the knife. So now let's render this and let's watch it. As we can see, it looks pretty realistic. Um, if you wanted to, you can kind of like draw it out a little bit more. That's probably what I would do. Um, and also, we can um, now add this to the next um, um, stab in the air. So if we come back here to the Filters tab, hit Copy, and then we select this clip and hit fi um, Edit, and then Paste. Um, now all those keyframes are going to be um, um, applied to that clip. However, if you notice, um, they're not actually affecting the clip. They're a little bit um, more backwards in the timeline. So we move all these manually, um, each individually over. However, it is a little bit of a manual process, and also you have to make sure that the uh, timing between each individual keyframe is the same. So what I'd honestly rec recommend doing is just deleting that and just redoing it um, via the effects tab. Now, if you guys also want to make it a little more, um, make it look a little more creepier, like you saw in the example, we can double um, click that, come up here to effects, video filters, color correction, and then color corrector. This new tab will open up, and we can bring down the saturation a bit. And let's also bring down the whites, and let's bring down the blacks. And what I'll do is kind of like give it more of a contrast. And here on kind of like the balance wheel, we can bring this down more to uh, closer to a blue. And that'll just kind of make it um, look a little more like blue and darker. So now we can render this, and let's watch the uh, final product. It looks pretty good. Um, remember, you can also um, copy and paste the uh, color correction over to this filter, or over to the um, the uh, next stabbing clip, which is um, it'll actually affect it this time. And um, also, if you wanted to get the um, sound effects, like you uh, heard in the example, um, I got this um, through Soundtrack Pro, which comes as part of Final Cut um, Final Cut Studio. However, if you don't have that, I'm sure if you get just Google stabbing sound effects or something like that, you can probably find a bunch on um, on the internet. 
And also about the um, the music that you heard um, during the example clip as well, I got that from a website called jamendo.com, which is a really great website for finding our royalty-free background music. Um, and so now let's go back downstairs to end out this video. So what did you think? Leave me a comment down below Tell me what you liked or what you didn't like about this tutorial. And since it's going to be more of a regular show premiering every Monday, I thought I might kind of create a cool title for it. So if you guys have a name for the show, please leave me in the comment down below. I'd love to hear your suggestions and also see what you guys want to see for future tutorials. And on that note, I'm going to see you guys next week with another really cool fact. So see you later!